All right, welcome to our 18th video with data structures and algorithms. And we need to go over some mathematical induction. Okay, so we have a, uh, uh, a recurrence relation here, right? And it says that uh, t of n is equal to 0, right, when n is equal to 0. And when n is greater than 0, t of n is equal to 2 times t of n minus 1 plus 1. And we are asked to prove that t of n is actually equal to 2 to the n minus 1. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, in mathematical induction, uh, first thing we do is we prove the base case, right? So here's our base, uh, we'll call it the base step. Okay, and it's trivial in this case, right, because t of 0, right, is equal to 0. So that's, we prove that, that's easy. And then we move on to our inductive step. Okay, and this is where we come up with our inductive hypothesis. I'm going to abbreviate that. And what we do here is we assume that, okay, and we take what we're supposed to prove and we plug in k. So we assume that t of k is equal to 2 to the k minus 1. Okay, this is how we do it. So we're going to assume that this is true right here. And we're going to use this to prove uh, the same thing for k plus 1. Now, I'm going to do a little side note. This is not part of the proof. Okay. And I'd like to just write out uh, what I'm trying to get at the end, right? So if we plug in k plus 1 here, I should get 2 to the k plus 1, okay, minus 1. That's what our ending uh, equation should look like. All right, so we're trying to prove this. So this was a side note. So let's start. <coughs> now, uh, we start by plugging in uh, k plus 1 here, right? So t of k plus 1 is equal to, okay, and we're going to plug that into this equation here. So we have 2 times t, right, n is k plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, right? So we just plugged in t uh, of k plus 1 into the second part here, okay? We don't want to just jump right to this because we're trying to prove this, okay? We haven't necessarily proved this part just yet, so we have to use what is assumed to be true, this and this. So we just do a little algebra in here, and we end up with 2 uh, times t to the k plus 1. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, here we can start to use, we can actually use our inductive hypothesis at this point. Okay, because we know that t of k is equal to this, right? We're assuming that t of k is equal to this. So let's plug that in, right? 2 times 2 to the k minus 1. Okay, plus 1. Now we just do some more algebra and hope that we come up with this, right? So we have 2 times 2 to the k minus 2 plus 1. And of course, we get 2 to the k plus 1. And this is minus 1. And that is what we were looking for. Right, so we have proved that this is true with uh, mathematical induction, okay? And you can do your little proven thing there.